Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Redfall is a first-party Xbox exclusive, always online, 30 FPS looter shooter. And it features, and stop me if you've heard this before, invisible teammates, invisible NPC quest givers, invisible enemies, Aposing NPCs, stationary enemy vampires, vampires with AI so brain dead, so bargain bin that you can shoot them without them reacting, or sidestep, as in strafe, not dodge, around them to avoid their attacks. They're that slow, constantly broken puzzles, environmental assets that exist in a state so inconsistent with what you're seeing that uh, routinely, if you're playing with other people, they'll communicate seeing something different than what you see. Enemies clipping through the floor, clipping through doors, uh, teleporting to the other side of walls. <laughs> Frozen teammates gliding across the ground, terrain not loading, crashing, you name it. Arcane Studios saw Jedi Survivor's problems and said, I can do worse than that. I'm genuinely astonished, Arcane Studios. You've crafted a worse Left 4 Dead 15 years after that game released with cringe Saints Row reboot writing and developer competence akin to Crystal Dynamics of Marvel's Avengers game fame. When I first saw the reveal for Redfall, I kept shrieking, this looks cheap. No cutscenes, stiff quest-giving NPCs, and storyboards instead of a real story, is what you get in this game. People defending this game and their own bizarre expectations for anything but mediocre trash need to face this hard truth. Prey is six years old, and Dishonored is over a decade old. Of the 15 reviews that I listened to, all of them mentioned Dishonored, all of them mentioned Prey, but only two of them mentioned Deathloop. What do you think that says about how that game's gonna be remembered? This studio is more Deathloop devs than it is anything else at this point. Special thanks to Arcane for making another always online looter shooter with paradoxically unsexy vampires. I, I just rewatched Van Helsing, the movie Hugh Jackman squeezed out between two X-Men films, and it had everything pleasing both sides, you know? Redfall's only pleasing to the dwindling, soy-soaked Xbox fan base that's taken whatever they can get and defend you. Some of those shills will accept anything, but I need to know from you, is this acceptable? Tell me in the comments section below. I keep asking, were the Saints Row developers the volition that people remember from years ago? No. Are the Sushi Squad developers this always online looter shooter the same rocksteady that made Arkham years ago? Look how busted Harley Quinn is. Obviously not. People leave. Studio heads leave. Publicly. Jokes about student loans and student debt? This shit is cringe. Avoiding any pretty and avoiding any titty in a vampire game is woke. And the untalented hack losers making the game are not the tortured devs who could do so much more if they just had a little bit of time. They are the embodiment of mismanagement and unchecked hubris. Allowed to drift so far out of touch with what humans might actually like that an AI could do better. Allow me to throw some stuff up on screen. You know, just for kicks, right? Y you're welcome if you like any of these. Like the video if you like some of them. What's happening here, again, with yet another joke of a farted out game before it was ready, is educational for players and consumers. A game that most people wouldn't play Unless it was on Game Pass, a game that, to be frank, they shouldn't be dreaming of selling for $70. Y'all yeah, just gonna put up with that? Since we live in a world where, like, politics have games journalists, I say that in air quotes, given Hogwarts Legacy a 0 out of 10 review, 
in between their critiques of their favorite objects to shove right up the holes that they wish were vaginas, you know what I mean? We're gonna have games journalists and developers defending stuff like this, saying that it's not so bad, it doesn't affect them, it'll get patched, all games launch buggy, and they'll gaslight. They're gaslighting right now over Jedi Fallen Order. They tell them players that it's their computers that's wrong. That's what EA said. Games journalists like Jason Schreier said, Jedi runs fine for him. And I guess that invalidates any issues people can prove that they're experiencing with their $70 purchase that doesn't function on their multiple thousand dollar rig. These people are the reason that these games stay in these states. And if you care about your hobby, whether you're passionate or not, oust these objectively incorrect defenders of anti-consumer swindles from your industry. Anger is the appropriate and correct response to switcheroos where you pay for one thing and receive another. It says it on the box, but oh, I, I, we didn't we didn't actually manage to put that. Can we, let's put a sticker on the box. At least they told you that. They're not telling you most things. You know what I mean? These people are the reason. If the shoe was on the other foot, they'd be using terms like non-consensual. They deliberately and routinely withhold information that would alter your level of interest and the losers licking backsides to stay in people's graces and jump through the hoops of websites like this one where we couldn't even talk about the pandemic that was literally killing people, you know. But white boy can walk around in a forest where people just took their lives and, and, and make O face like, oh my God, guys. To people like this, when they call you sexist, racist, transphobe, or chewel wished, they're morons. Wear it like a badge of honor. They can't control the narrative with their urine-soaked abortion that they've, they've thrown out there and called hard work. Uh, you better review it nice because I worked hard on it. It wouldn't be so funny if these ugly, lonely developers, desperate to flatten every woman's chest that they come across, could write a damn joke that wasn't too stale for a sitcom. So to watch them make oopsies on social media and tell fans how they really feel? Listen, I'm a Jamaican man. And I'm a million times more passionate about gaming than any of these racist games journalists like Jason Schreier based on his tweets demanding that studios not be white guys if the studio is 99% white and the game is high quality and fun. I prefer that. And it'd be about as insane as you rolling into an Asian studio and demanding more diversity in there, even though you assholes do. But pretty sure I'm done with it. With specific wording and small amounts of time, I can prompt literal AI to create more appealing things than the people in these studios spend millions of dollars to kick out the fucking door. And I think that with Redfall, the gaming industry has finally pushed too far. Why bother? Sorry, Xbox fans. Here's looking at the next embarrassment from Bethesda. Starfield couldn't possibly be as bad as this, right? Thank you to the patrons and the sponsors. If you made it this far, thank you. Thank you for liking. The West has got to chill. Because uh, this is pretty forespoken. Apologize if the audio is a little weird. I, I need a new headset. Wishlist link in the description. Ah.